and then they sent me a couple of CDs that have this crazy Frenchified cover. It's not really like my cover was. I thought it was really cool and hip, and theirs was like me, but like. But um, I don't know if it ever came out. But I did. I did get this manager here, and uh, I was like, well, shoot, I'm moving. So I moved here, and I lived here for a couple of years, and. You know, it was such a great experience, you know. So did you there. come right before 9-11? No, right after, after. 2002. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one is when it happened, but two is when you came. Yes, which is people were like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, it was yeah. over. It was over. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, and it just it just changed me a lot being here as a, you know, you have, everyone has to leave home, right? San Francisco is a very, it's a wonderful city, but it's a very small city. It's not even a million people. But everywhere compared to here is like a matchbox town, I always feel like. No, L.A. is yeah. it's big. <laughs> it's big? Is Chicago big? Yeah. Okay, yeah. take that back. The San, like, I can't go to San Francisco. I haven't lived in San Francisco in 12 years. I can't walk down the street without seeing people I know. So is Wright like Roadie really, really the San Francisco tree? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know. No, but the cable cars are special. Yeah. yeah. My dad used to be a grip on one of those, which is crazy because I went underneath and saw them. Do you know it's giant cables on giant spools that pull those things along? And up those hills. And they have many, 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 many accidents. Ah. <laughs> so you can never on? get on one again. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, so, so then you lived here. So then I lived here, and kind of nothing happened with the career. Like, the... the European records didn't really do anything. My manager was trying to get stuff going for me, and it didn't really get going. Um, but I learned a lot. Like I, the very first night I got here, I went to the sidewalk cafe for the open mic. Right. You know, the, you stayed till four in the morning. No, I was. Well, I think I played at like one. Okay. But, but the funny part was, I got here and I, I didn't have my clothes yet because we had shipped clothes. So I'm like, oh, what do I wear? Crap. So I had a pajama top that was kind of like sort of normal. So I wore my pajamas to the open mic. And uh, I was Latch still doing that? He's in Europe now. Oh, okay. So at the time it was Latch. And uh, and uh, I get up and I'm like, I'm here. It's my first time here. I'm wearing my pajamas and I'm from San Francisco. And he's like, everyone, give her a big New York welcome. And everyone went, F you. I died. I thought, oh my God, I love it here. People are crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. But I, I actually really enjoyed that. And then, you know, to talk about, they were like, hey, we like to come back and, and do a show next week. So, you know, it's like, they may be saying F you, but if somebody likes you, you know they like you here, which is nice. You know, so. And you have a lot of gigs coming up, don't you? I do, I do. This record's coming out. I'm actually, this is so exciting. I'm playing for the first time in Brooklyn at the Branded Saloon. Yay! 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 Brooklyn. We love the Branded Saloon. <laughs> you know, I'm staying, I've been here for about five weeks, kind of like staying in Brooklyn and going out on um, little, uh, mainly to radio things. And um, I am around the corner from the Branded. So nice. I walked by one day and I'm like, hey, I'd like a gig. <laughs> <laughs> So please come, because I don't know anybody and in Brooklyn. And the date is? Oh, sorry. Saturday night, uh, I believe it's 9 o'clock. Okay, so it's not Friday, May 10th. Not Friday. So it's Saturday, Saturday May 11th. Saturday, May 11th. And um, it's May 11th, 13th. Yes. 13, <laughs> not 12. Yes. 5, 11, 13. Right, exactly. Um, that's this week. That's exciting. Yeah, it's and nine okay. o'clock. We love the Branded Saloon. It's yeah. a great little place, and there's food too. Yeah, I've been hanging out there. It's it's really fun. It is a fun yeah. place. It's a blast. It's great. And um and other gigs. Well, uh, then I go back to LA and I have the EP release party. But and the EP's name is um it's called Urban Akana. I have one in my purse. Okay. I can't go grab. But anyway, um, I'm super excited about it. Like I just How many feel songs? On fire. Uh, six songs. Okay, so everybody's like EP. I feel is like the new black. You know what? <laughs> everybody's <laughs> like I have an EP. Yeah. It's it's too it's damn expensive to make. I know, but it's like that's yeah, right. It's damn that's expensive, right. but also you really only have six good songs. Now, but is that <laughs> <laughs> you write, like I try to write a lot. And I don't know. Your song away. was pretty good. So you that was on EP. That was yeah. A, that's a, a really good song. <laughs> um, I just feel like you know. Um, 
my, my daughter is like recording and I'm like, so you're making a demo? And she's like, no, I'm making an EP. And I'm like, what's the difference? It's like this, it's the same thing. What is it? But an EP, EP you're is, in a release. Um, well, so it's, Yes, oh, there's it's rules. A, it's, yes. so there yeah, are rules. Less than 35. Less than 35. So, so if it's over 35 minutes, it's an LP. Oh, so because like they used to use those words in the back in the day, but like you really didn't hear them recently. EP, LP. Like it's more popular. That was more when it was EP like records. Demo. Right? It was like, yeah. important if you say EP instead of demo. CDs changed all that, right? And then Remember it, CDs? Now really it's all digital, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's but you made a physical CD. I did. So the yeah. CD can be an EP or an LP? Yeah. Yeah. So. The physical yeah. CD. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I never, I, I just thought hey, a CD was a We have acronyms in the music industry. <laughs> yeah, but EP is, like, e, EP is like what everybody's calling their stuff these days. So you have to make it under 35 minutes. I think it was 35. Interesting. And you have six songs. Six songs. So they're under 35 minutes. Yes, and there you go. So you probably just borderlined it. I did, yeah. I like to write long songs. <laughs> right? <laughs> I had to pare down a bit, but yeah. And your website is? Uh, it's real easy. Pi, like the number, or the movie, P-I, Jacobs. And I think your skeleton can be your warrior pajamas. So oh, <laughs> oh, 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 pajamas. Yeah, and it's, it's so fun. good to see you. Thank you Great so much you. for visiting. Any last shout outs? Um, uh, LA people, first of all, I love you. <laughs> and second of all, please come to the show. And Brooklyn people, come say hello, because I really, I literally know almost no one in Brooklyn. So well, you know me now. Come say hi. And it's a free show. And I know you now. So there you go. There you go. Yay! <laughs> hi. We'll be back. we got more. Woo! All right. See me. Shake it, don't break it down the hall They are so concerned about a number An allegation